The Balearic Archipelago is situated in the Mediterranean Sea. One of the islands is Menorca, where the stone witnesses of a millennia-old past can still be seen today. The prehistoric village of Poblet de Son Catlar surprises with a remarkably long wall which surrounds a settlement of megalithic culture. Stones were piled on top of each other without binding material and thus formed a protection for the early settlement. Menorca's roots go back deep into history, as the island was first inhabited more than 6,500 years ago. The inhabitants gathered to find shelter, and were soon ready to form walls of stone with secure entrances. The human presence on Menorca is referred to as the pre talaiotic period, a cultural time dating from the end of the Late Stone Age to the beginning of the Bronze Age. It is likely that the first settlers came across the sea in reed boats. They sought shelter in caves and it took some time before small groups formed the first villages. The first steps had been taken. Massive stone towers, the Talayots, and cult sites reveal the Trepulco settlement as an important example of Talayotic settlement history. Around the 15th century BC, there must have been a first heyday. Within a short period of time, around 1,500 megalithic buildings were built. The post-Talaiotic period began in 650 BC. During that time, the most primeval buildings, the Taulas, T-shaped sanctuaries, were built. In these areas, rituals were held for the fertility of both earth and man. These included the sacrifice of domestic animals, drink offerings with wine, and the symbolic breaking of amphorae. construction of the two monuments, residential towers and base walls, helped to provide an insight into the settlement system. In the Talayotican III period, there were already contracts with seafaring cultures from beyond the Balearic Islands. Thus began trade with the Greeks, Phoenicians and the Carthaginians, which has been proven by various discoveries. Ceramics, bronze, lead and iron appeared. Torriden Galmes is the largest prehistoric settlement on Menorca. Due to its location high up on a hill, parts of the south coast could be readily surveyed.
The extensive settlement existed from the pre-Taliotic period of Navitas to the late Roman period. Three Taliots, several roundhouses and a few ritual sites are still easily recognizable today. And the sanctuaries of Taurus fascinate in the light of the last rays of the sun. There are altars made of tall stones topped with stone slabs, and in addition, a kind of stone basin. The stone towers on the highest sections of the hill and the ritual sites highlight cyclope technique particularly well here. The archaic forms of megalithic stone architecture contradict any assumption of influence by one of the contemporary Iron Age cultures. The Talayoticum culture is an independent, traceable development of the Balearic Islands. This settlement is said to have existed until the Christian conquest under King Alphonse III. One of the most beautiful necropolises of Menorca is situated on the northern coast, Cala Morel. Difficult to access terrain, which in its original form is unchanged right up to the present day. There are spectacular caves artificially dug out and carved into the stone designed to provide eternal peace for the dead. Also, 14 artificial caves in which food for the dead was offered in ceramic containers. The oldest graves date back to 1600 BC, the largest extension having been in the 6th century BC. The interior of the caves is often similar to the circular architecture of residential buildings and columns delimit the rooms and divide the entrances. Prehistoric cultural treasures extend all over the island and visitors soon experience a sense of travelling back to a splendid time of prehistory.